I wish I could sing, but I can't. Happy day, I'm <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about talent. Talk talent! I didn't know I had the talent to do my hair like this, but I do apparently. But this isn't about that. This is about things that actually take real talent. The top talent of the internet. Like this ain't no joke. Look what this man did to this watermelon. That's not even fair. The fear was instilled in me just like it was when I actually watched Attack on Titan. Like those ugly, hideous faces. You got it! In a watermelon, like who thinks to do it in this medium? Doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm very impressed. Ew, oh, I don't, oh, the face, like it's, it's the teeth. It's the teeth. The showing teeth. That's way more teeth than a human being has. This guy's got like, way more teeth than me. We can kind of tell at the beginning here what this person is trying to do. With the black, it blends so well with the background and the whole time you're just sitting there thinking like, okay, well, how are you gonna make this look realistic? It's not looking realistic to me yet. Not yet. You better keep blending. <laughs> you better blend harder. <laughs> Do more. It's starting to come together. This is just one of those like trust the processes. Oh, <gasps> the way you twisted it like that. That was pretty, pretty good. This Vicabren art person does all sorts of crazy stuff with their hands. Jazz hands. I feel like the people who are really, really good at something, they choose something so specific to be good at. What made this person go, okay, the hand is where I'm going to apply my knowledge. The hand! Special effects art, I feel, has gotten so good that I can't even look at it because it freaks me out like this. I can't. It looks like we have a painter here. I love painters. What do you got, girl? What are you doing? What are you getting up to? The caption is, the ocean is boundless. I would be just so intimidated to try. How is that even possible? How do you make your painting of water look like a picture? If I walked into somebody's house and I saw that, I would be like, oh, like cool photo. Like this has to be a photo. What? Someone just understands the basic elements of water. Now this is top talent from little kids. My students are making glass paintings. How cute is that? Okay, that's an example, but that is so cute. This is even better. Okay, your students are better than you. I'm sorry, oh, what? That is so cute. Why didn't I ever get to do this in school? Like this is actually something that I would be proud to put on my wall. Your students love anime and I'm here for it. I'm mad at Disney, oh, a Sonic that's actually accurate, oh. This is something that I actually would like to have. Like so much of the art that I did in school is so garbage and like you would never think to keep it. When you're older, trust me, you're going to want to have your school art. Put it all in a box somewhere. Take pictures too. You're gonna wanna remember that too. I didn't like pictures in high school. I didn't like keeping anything because I'm not sentimental. I wish I did. Hot pink. All right. Grape. Grape. Mm -hmm. Oasis blue. Okay, does anybody else love the way this guy's voice says the paint? It like, it makes it more intriguing. Apple red. Yes. With some Dawn dish soap. What? I'm just gonna swipe back and forth like this. Okay. Take some black spray paint and cover what? everything in black. I'm scared. So where I put the dish soap will still be the color underneath when I wash it off. Check that out. <gasps> Who thinks of this? Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. That is so absolutely stunning. I love when people share their tricks of the trade and like aren't greedy about it and hog it because that is so cool. And it's something that I can do at home. Like I want to do it, but I don't have a backyard. So I can't like spray the spray paint. I, I keep thinking like, where could I do this? Where could I do, like I want this. So I just thought this was really cool because <gasps> this, okay, yikes. <gasps> That's a yikes. <gasps> when you realize that <gasps> these models are purposely stumbling they should win an award because Ooh. all of these trips look real. Seems like somebody put something really slippery on the runway. Like somebody put a banana peel on this runway, but they are hitting the exact same mark and slipping. How? I really do feel like they're doing this on purpose. And if they are, it's one of the most impressive things I've ever seen because when I pretend that I'm falling, I'm just, oh no, I seem to have lost my balance. And then like I fall in a way where I could never get hurt. This is like really good commitment. And like how mad she was when she almost fell in like the embarrassed face. I made that face yesterday and I was trying to like rollerblade home and then my rollerblade got caught in like those like divots in the road where the streetcar go. I made that face that, <sighs> a mad face. Squeezing out my soul with this expensive paint. 
it looks like she's painting the background of something just to make it po oh never mind okay uh how do you do <laughs> you could tell her makeup is so, so good that she's probably a talented artist. No one would have suspected that talented. That's absolutely insane. This just freaks me. Oh my gosh, I actually thought the top one was her real eye! Because of Facetune and because of like the way um, everybody's been doing their makeup lately, I think that it's just natural for me to assume that people's eyes are way bigger than they are. And so when I looked at this at face value, I was like, the smaller eyes are the fake eyes because they're smaller, right? But no, this is a natural sized eye. Like my eyes are probably this size as well. I love the extra chin. I don't know where her lip is. I don't know which nose is real. I only know the eye because it's blinking. That's trippy and I don't like it, but I do like it. I'm conflicted. We found an octopus alien in the snow. Oh, it blinked. It was crawling and then it latched on my arm so tightly I pulled it off. What do you mean? Oh no, it's stuck, it's stuck on you. <laughs> this is like my worst nightmare, like going swimming in a water hole and like, ah, ripping something off and it leaving this. Wound on day two. Okay, so it was at this point that I realized that it was special effects makeup and like none of this happened. But when I first saw this, it like freaked me out. And just the fact that they made this little monster creature and they used it to like tell this story of how it's stuck on them and how the wound is getting worse. And then you're like, oh no, like what happens next? I just think that that's, it's beautiful. It takes a lot of talent. I like that. I like art that like kind of gets you excited and makes you go like, ah, like what? Is that real? What happened next? First of all, how does anybody get their line this straight? How does anybody trust themselves to do so many steps where the, the simplest mess up messes up the entire look? This is why I could never be a tattoo artist because sometimes you're just not allowed to make a mistake and I'm the kind of person who needs to make mistakes. I need to. Oh, I didn't realize at the time this is a pride month eye. That's really pretty. Hear ye, hear ye. This is the most satisfying transition I've ever seen in my entire life. I think this is so cool. It's not very often I see a trend and I'm like, I wanna try that so bad. Um, but I want to try this so bad. And it's not even just the transition, it's the way that it loops. There's a little bit of a jump there, but overall, seamlessly transitions into the beginning again, and I just love it. Well done, Ralph. Here we have a top talent kick. Usually you punch this thing and try to get a high score. This guy kicks it into oblivion and gets such a high score that is insane. Imagine having this kind of aim with your kick. It's actually kind of hard to aim a kick. The funny thing about martial arts is it like looks really easy, but a lot of people actually miss when they throw punches. <laughs> like it takes a lot of coordination and this man can do it with his leg and not just a kick, a flying kick. That's pretty impressive. I would say this doesn't take a ton of talent, but it's the execution and the idea and the final product that I think distinguishes itself from other kinds of art you see online. Like this is so stunning. It reminds me of like being a little baby in a little basket and floating down the river and just kind of like enjoying my first few days on earth. That's where my head goes, is that normal? Okay, so this, this girl does the best voices. Voice acting is one of those things that I've like kind of tried to do, but I just don't really have the voice for it. Cause I don't sound like this. At first I was like, mm, feet. I don't think it's a joke anymore. It's so good. Like, why is it so like anime? Why is it so perfect? I love every single voice that this girl does. But every day I don't do my makeup. That's a pretty good Dixie. Dixie has like a very interesting voice. I feel bad because they're kind of making fun of her, but also she has like a really iconic voice. Sometimes when you hear something too iconic, it's hard not to like try it. Do we have a person making a pop it sound with their mouth? That's pretty good. That is so good. It's so good because she pays attention to a lot of the things. Like for most people, I feel like we would try to do things in one step. Like if I heard like the brrrr for the pop it thing, I'd be like, I would try to reduce it to the essence of it. But she goes ahead because I guess maybe her tongue can move fast enough that she can. I can't. It's this one that I like the most. She's just like. Cause if it was me doing it, I'd just do the. 
but it's the first part that like makes it sound like it. It's that attention to detail. Appa. Oh, here she goes again. It's good. <laughs> oh my god, I love voice actors so much. What a cool talent. I've heard with voice acting that like it's really, really hard to break into the industry because a lot of voice actors, like if you look at The Simpsons, for example, like one person does a voice for like 20 people. Because if you're good with your voice, you can do so much with it. I'm just really jealous of voice actors. That's a talent that I really wish I had. Make people think it's a picture. I can kind of see the string, but if I couldn't, I'd be really, really impressed. Because she is so still, like, are you sure that this wasn't paused? Is it possible for a human to be that still? Do you guys remember when the mannequin challenge was really, really popular and a lot of people were like doing it, but you could kind of tell that they were doing it because humans can't really stay like too still? Okay, how still am I? I know I didn't give it a lot of time, but I can see my hand like vibrating. Like, okay, I'm trying to hold my hand still. I can see it moving. Maybe, oh, maybe it's because she held it like this because she knows. See, this is what I'm talking about with top talent is like she knew to not hold it like this because it gives your fingers the chance to drift. She knew to put them together and that it's a lot easier to like hold it still when it's together. And the other hand is supported on the bowl too. Yeah, 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 she's doing it. She's really doing it. She thought about this. But we'll say Did not expect that. Oh, she's doing the Fergie national anthem, but she sounded really good doing it. When your voice is so good that you can like make fun of somebody doing a voice and then sound so good in it that I'm like, wow, that's really good until you went bad. No, 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 no. Your boy is adding a bird to finish off this painting that probably took 15,000 years. I grew up in a house full of landscape paintings and none of them had this amount of detail. Have artists just gotten better? Has the paint just gotten better? I don't know, but this is like absolutely incredible. And sometimes I get overwhelmed looking at stuff like this because I think about how long it took. And this is why I think it's like kind of cool to buy prints sometimes because we should all be able to enjoy this art because it took forever. Just because the one that you personally have didn't take forever doesn't mean it's not a representation of something that took forever. This man right here has his own clothing brand that he started in high school. Apparently everybody told him he was gonna fail. And I think that this clothing is really cute. Like it's very like aesthetic, it's very unique. I think it's real cute. He's doing the AS like trend with it, but I like the shirt he's wearing and like I just like the general vibe with it. I feel like it's like very in right now. I love how like the up and coming generation is like taking everything that's good about the 90s. A lot of it was really, really ugly. And I like how everybody's like taking what was good about it and like bringing it back. So I've always wondered how certain things were shot and it's crazy. Like there's no easy way about it, how certain things were just shot the hard way and meticulously planned. Like I would think that this was a drone, but it's handheld. Like how is handheld so smooth? One man was running and handed this off to another man and yet the shot looks so smooth. A team effort that was well worth the result. This is a digital landscape. I don't think it's real, like, cause I don't think any place like this exists. I mean, if it does, then let me know in the comments cause I'm going. <laughs> I love digital landscapes. Like I love looking at people's idea of what heaven looks like. I wish I had the talent for my like idea of what heaven looks like to be better. I think I painted one, I did. I painted my idea of what heaven looks like and it's like nowhere near as good as this. This was just absolutely beautiful execution. So cutting out tons of different like stencils of Lil Nas X and then, oh, he's dancing. It's like one of those flip books, but with different backgrounds. That is so gorgeous. That was my little PowerPoint presentation of the top talent on the internet. Let me know what you guys thought. Please check out the creators that were featured in this video. And if you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.